Monday morning down at <laughs> the Junction Oval. Going to watch the Renegades train. Check man, how are you? It's made a 50. Do you have to pay for pay? I, I didn't pay. Is he fine and coming? No, he should be right. <laughs> I've got two sitting on my bench worth $100 and the highway patrol's out already. It's a bit awkward here because um, Melbourne Stars are training on the same nets. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. The Renegades are about to go in. I'm a massive Stars man as well. Do I pledge my allegiance or do I just keep it under wraps? Oh, I'm going to do some backflips. It is hot. It is so hot. So we've had Peter Siddle. I think that was Tom Rogers. Yeah, Tom Rogers. Tommy Rogers. A couple of boys float through. I'm about to bowl the wicket. We've got a net to ourselves. It's very hot in here. Oh, he's missed the, missed the mark. Yeah. I don't play turf, so I don't use the four paces too much. Oh, <laughs> Madison. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the tools here, Will. We can't, we can't be distracting ourselves. Nathan Lyon's about to enter the building. We've got Glenn Maxwell floating around as well out there, Will. It's a bit... It's a bit overwhelming. It's a star started line up today. I tell you what, I bumped, oh, I didn't bump into, but as I was walking in, I saw Meg Lanning, Annabelle Sutherland, at least Perry. Just some of the best of the best. Just some of the World Cup winners, if you don't Check, mind. Checkman's still got the hoodie on and it is hot. It's actually me cool. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like if I took it off, I'd be dripping. Now this mm. man is sort of so it's like, Yeah, yeah, because I am sweating. Here comes Finch. Oh, oh. Oh. Finchy scares me. He used to live in our house, fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need to ask him. That's actually what I'm going to ask him. What was your old, where do you, what was your old address? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know in my head what side oh, I'm going to put. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what side. <laughs> I don't know what side he's going to pull. A bit of mind games. Did you do this out of the crest? Yeah. yeah. Games. Are you ready? Mind. It's like saying I'm going to throw a scissors, but then you know. Alright. Um, we'll, we'll do that first and see if... Alright, I'm going to go scissors. Alright, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. How would you like to go scissors? <laughs> he's very good on the mind <laughs> game. <laughs> he wants you to get going. Rock, paper, scissors. How would you like to go scissors? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Alright, that's it. Let's go. Flats. Is that what you, you knew it was going to be flats? Yeah. I knew it was. <laughs> Alright, Gaz is tossing. I either call flats or humps. Is that right? Alright. Ready? I don't know. Don't have done it First time. What, what do you do? I just throw it up. Just throw it at someone. Just throw it at the umpire. Flats. You win. What would you do if you won? Where are we playing? Junction Oval. Uh, well, this GMHBA Stadium this Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Guys, what is the first thing you go to on the afternoon tea table? Oh, well, the times have changed. It used to be them to the cakes and all that stuff, but now it's like fruit or sushi or something like that. So, um, it's pretty boring, you know, so I don't really know. The new ball or the outer ball? New ball. <coughs> Boys, we've had all the lads roll in. I'm sweating. It's been a great day. It's very good, Will. It's been an under He's wet. I'm so wet. <laughs> He's bowling balls in oh, between yeah. each, each filming session. I'm like, a kid, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I just, like, when you give me the facilities that the Renegades, the stars, Vic use, I've got to use it. I want, you, to be, I want to be part of it. You've used it quite well. Yeah. Check, man. I've seen the um, coaches are upstairs. Um, up in the function, like up in the area, and they're looking down. And Will, I've never seen him bowl for long run actually at training anywhere. <laughs> no, but I saw him walk up and went, Ooh. Yeah. steaming in trying to get a gig. Hey boys, just if you're looking down, South, if you want to give me just a 10 day contract, I'll give you some. Well, that bloke Fergus before said he signed like yesterday, so, yeah. So well, maybe it was a similar situation. Yeah. <laughs> Fergus O'Neill went well in the Sheffield Gym, and they thought, oh, pick him and. I might say and you me. went well in the in the third league when you went up. So. Yeah, I didn't take a wicket. I've taken two for the season, but that's all right. Have you only taken two for the season? Yeah, I've only I took two in an over. <laughs> <laughs> bowling pies, bowling absolute pies. And that right there became one of the longest summers ever. Umpiring cricket every single weekend. But it wasn't all easy, you know. People constantly screaming, how is that? But nobody ever asking me, how are you? Thinking about a purchase? I wouldn't mind a, wouldn't mind a steak cricket helmet. <laughs> no, it's too small for my head. <laughs> what about that one? Oh, my, my I'm here with uh, probably my favorite BBL player ever, Joe Clark. But this year, he's in different colors. 
What's happened here? Um, well, player of the year twice in a row at the Stars and uh, got the flick, mate. So <laughs> I've joined the, uh, the arch rival and now I'm a, I'm a Gade. Have you played at Marvel Stadium before? Yeah, mate, I hit the roof last year. <laughs> and, uh, is that six now or is that No, nah, I think it's changed. I'm really gutted about it, but it was six last year. This year I think it's dead ball, which is uh, not a rule change I'm a fan of. No, but the good thing about playing at Marvel is you never get washed out. You never get washed out, but it gets hot. Does it? It's it? hot when that roof's closed, yeah, geez. So, and it's smaller boundaries than the MCG, so it's, for me, win-win. Yeah, beautiful. So how are you feeling about this year? Feeling good, I feel like we've got a uh, strong list. Uh, looking forward to potentially open the band with uh, Quinn and DeCock. Um, that should be fun. That'd be elite. Yeah. Reckon, reckon we're a good partnership. <laughs> oh, it'd be a great partnership. Yeah. Could be, could be. So yeah, I think we've got a good list and um, yeah, looking forward to it. Mate, I appreciate your time. Good luck this season. Cheers, top man. And I miss you. He's a top man. So I'm with the great Rogers man as we are going for a kick and we're on Swan Street and it was sort of busier than what we expected, especially at like sort of six o'clock on a Monday night. It should be a chilled sort of evening, but we've worked out that the Foo Fighters are on. The Fooies, Triple M darlings, uh, Dave Grohl, also the drummer of Nirvana. So there might even be some Nirvana fans going. No doubt about that there's a <laughs> crossover between those two bands. Um, I was planning on parking like just near Gosh's, so I'm hoping that that's still going to be on, but given that the Foo Fighters are gonna, the Foo Fighters are gonna be in the background ground while we're just having a kick and a catch. Um, and thank you all, love you all. This might be the last video you ever see me in because when Caden picked me up, I said, mate, could we please stop in at a 7-Eleven? I'm thirsty, I need to get a bottle of water. And he said, no worries, mate, we'll stop in for sure. We've arrived at the ground now, he's forgotten about the drink. <laughs> forgotten about the drink and it's about 30 degrees outside, so this, yeah. could, this could be the end of me. Um, we always have very competitive goal kicking challenges, so I thought maybe just to put you off, I wouldn't hydrate you. <laughs> mm, genius. <laughs> Do I gonna hit the bins here? Nah, the Jackson bins. Mate, like a glove, like a glove. Jeez, um... You've done that before. <laughs> Dude, the beep... The alarm the, was carrying the, on. The beep was certain that there was going to be a collision. Two <laughs> fighters were on, and there was like eight... I reckon it was VFLW Collingwood players on Gosh's, so... It seemed like a bit of a tryout or something like that. You know, it didn't seem too legit. So we got kicked off that ground, gone to Victoria Park, and um, I reckon it's the first time I've kicked a footy in, in months. It is so hot. It's like... Probably still 30. It feels, mate. It feels so dry. It's like we're in the Sahara. It was, everyone was saying at the start of December, it's just so wet. You don't feel it right now. Yeah. It feels like it hasn't rained here in six right years. Down to 10 shots each. I don't know if we're keeping score or not, but I think you guys have a pretty good angle. Rogie's gone the drop punt and nailed the tiebreaker, so we're all even on 22. So we'll go two shots each to try and separate it. Yes, seven. McDonald's sort of proven that the snap's the way to go, but um, considering my last kick drop punt sailed through the middle, I think I might have to back into dropping the start. Oh, great sweat sesh. At the home of footy, Vic Park. One of the great venues to come and have a kick of the pill at. Um, 
yeah, I might whip up a couple more of these. Um, if I'm doing anything exciting, I'll probably bring the vlog cam with me. I've neglected it for the last 12 months, but um, yeah, if I get some one-off things that I attend, there's no reason why I shouldn't be bringing you guys with me. So I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in, and I'll see you for some more sweaty footy content very, very soon. You are my sun. You are my sunshine.